Hi, I'm Megan Zetta from Launch Code. We are here at Infocom 2023. It's day one. I am here with David, and I'm not going to tell you what company he's from because he has an exciting announcement. David, tell us what's new. Sure. We just did a uh, startup called Smart Matter AI. Uh, and we're using, we're producing AI tools for the digital signage industry, and we're really excited to be here showing a prototype of our AI kiosk. So basically, you can walk up and ask the kiosk pretty much any question you want, and uh, it'll give you a, a good answer. So it's been fun using this here. Obviously, we're in the convention center, so we know how convention center Wi-Fi goes, but it's still, even with the slow Wi-Fi, again, not because of the product, because of the convention center, it's been fantastic. I've been asking it questions all morning, been asking it, you know, where I went to dinner last night, all of those kinds of things. So, David, why don't you ask her a question? Sure, I'd be happy to, and thank you for doing that for me because we are having bandwidth contention, but I'd be happy to ask. What is digital signage? So it'll go out and get a response now, it'll come back, it'll form that response into an avatar, and it'll read the answer back. form of electronic display that shows multimedia content on screens in public spaces. It can be used for advertising, information, and entertainment purposes. That's a pretty succinct answer. Yeah, we've, we've, we've shortened the answer so they are succinct. I love that. So tell us a little bit about, you mentioned it's good for use in digital signage. What are some of the more specific use cases for this? So I really think that wayfinding is really good. Um, where are the closest bathrooms? That's a good question that I'm sure you get a lot at the show. We do. To reach the closest restrooms from the front of Crimson Booth, go left, west, two rows. Then make a right and the restrooms will be on your left. I can see the restrooms and that is a very accurate direction. Yeah, so I think generally um, if you have a theme park or something like that, the model can be trained, the AI model can be trained specifically on your location. So it could give people, you know, sort of guided tours, directions, make reservations at restaurants and attractions. Uh, it can basically learn anything that you need it to learn about the location that you're in and your property or your company. And so um, while this is very generic in general right now, uh, it can be easily trained to make it specific to your purpose. And I sort of think that, you know, a nice visual front end on wayfinding is probably the killer app for this tech. And if I remember correctly, her name is April? Yeah, so we have several avatars. Uh, she, is, she is April, but we also have... Oops, got to turn mine on. So we also have... Jose. And... Lisa 2.0. Jose and April are real people. Lisa 2.0 is a synthetic character made by an AI. But you can create an avatar in anything you want. So if you have a brand logo, you know, that is a cartoon character or something, it can be turned into an avatar. You know, if you have your CEO who really wants to be on a public screen, <laughs> you can do that too. So we're going to have a Megan Dutta one at the next show. I promise you, if you want a Megan Dutta one, fine. We'll do it. We'll be happy to. That's so exciting. So we can use this for wayfinding. We're using it in theme parks. I'm assuming like museums or even corporate spaces, retail. Are there any other use cases that I'm missing? Hospitality? Yeah, there's probably a lot of uses in corporate environments. So, uh, you know, every, every large corporation has help desks, things like that. Uh, you know, your laptop's not working. Uh, this can be trained on the FAQ, the technical FAQs. Uh, can be trained on HR procedures and things like that and become an information booth within an organization to ask questions. So anything that you, any data set that you can think of, it can be trained on. I've had so much fun playing with this off camera today and I'm sure a lot of people will. So if you want to see this at Infocom, it is in the Crimson AV booth, which is, what's the booth number here, do you know? 1674. 1674 in the Crimson AV booth. Come see Smart Matter AI. And if people want more information, they want to connect with you or they want more information on Smart Matter AI, where can they find that? That QR code right there. <laughs> they can't see it on the screen. What's the website? Oh, uh, smartmatter.ai. Perfect. Thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you very much. I really